you know, the, uh, the trenches you have to walk through. Exactly. You know, uh, you know. <laughs> to survive. Big time. So, uh, you know, when I watched that scene, was, was there a shower scene where someone was stabbing somebody? Oh, uh, there's the a tray razor shower scene. Yeah, that was, that was pretty brutal. Yeah. And yeah. it looked too real. And uh, as a director, how do you forget about the scene being so brutal that you just have to do your job, you wrote it, and you know it's a, a very intense scene? Just don't judge your characters. Don't, don't exactly. get so involved with the, you know, start questioning yourself on morality and all that kind of stuff and just you know, um, detach, uh, detach your eye from everything and just, just shoot it and just let them, let it run its course. Don't ever judge, you know, so. And doing a scene like that, um, when you do make a mistake, I mean, how do you just get back in the role to do it all over again? I mean, what, what are I think those these scenes? guys were so, di everybody in the film was so, uh, you know, sleep to deprived and, and we were on such that schedule that we just really didn't have any time to be questioning anything. We would just go in there if there was something that we had to do over. They would just, you know, Lawrence and Dan, they would just bring it, you know, bring it right to the mark. There was no, there was real no arguments about any performances, you know what I mean? Yes, exactly. There was an argument, it was, um, you know, more of uh, what I was, like I said before, what the situation was, but it was only for a second, if anything. It wasn't some long, drawn out thing. And did you, uh, were there changes during the script when you were writing it, or you added oh, new yeah, scenes? Yeah. And how does that work in a movie like this? Um, you know, with, with these guys, they're both really good improvers, I think. Um, Lawrence being the more trained actor, but Dan brings a lot too. It was just it was a really good mesh with both those guys. They're, they come from different... They're both trained, but they're also very different. So, two different actors and how they mesh together. Um, yeah, just two different, you know, they come from two... At the, they're the same, but so different. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and uh, one's on this side, one's on that side. It's kind of like... Uh, Here's an example, Laurel and Hardy, oh, okay. which is kind of funny, you know, they work really, you know, you put them together and they're great on their own. For this kind of film anyway, I just think they complemented, you know, if they were on their own, I don't think it would have been as good for this film in particular, film. but they complement each other's performances. You know, there's a, there's a different levels they both have, instead of just the same one straight line. Exactly. You know, where it would have been, it would have been no good, it would have been just the same thing going on. And how did you find the locations and settings for this film? Um, well, we just went around the grittiest areas of, of uh, Las Vegas and picked those areas and uh, just started shooting, you know, wow. just, just got out there and, you know, had a lot of people help us, you know, that, that, that helped get us some locations here and there, but for the most part it was just uh, us going out and just going for it. And uh, from the writing from the script, how long did it take you? to write the script and just start filming. Uh, the script process. was written in like two months. Wow. Uh, and then I believe two months after that we were shooting. Wow. And yeah. um, so when you, when you made the title in your head, you two previously told me that it was based on true events. And yeah. where did this make More, more inspired, yeah, inspired, based because of things that have happened to me in the past or Daniel or even Lawrence, just things that we just put all together, that things that are going on right now, things you don't see. And, um, you know, uh, not necessarily they're, I'm not saying there's the DeGrasso brothers out there, but they're out there. Right. Maybe they're not named that, but there's stuff that goes on.